For the first method, we're going to right click on the Windows Start icon, then we're going to click on Settings. Once we're on it, we're going to head over to Network and Internet, and then for me it says Ethernet, for you it might say Wi-Fi. No matter what it says, click on it, and then change the network profile type from public to private. For the second step, we're going to click on Windows plus A on our keyboard, which will bring up this. Now for me it doesn't show because I'm using the Ethernet cable, but for you it should say Wi-Fi on it. You want to click on Wi-Fi and then you want to disconnect your Wi-Fi and then reconnect it again. For the next step, we're going to right click on the Windows Start icon, then we're going to head over to Device Manager. Once you're on it, we're going to open up Network Adapters, we're going to expand it. And then you want to look for something that will be on screen right now, something like that or similar. It might be a different manufacturer, but just similar to that and it will probably say wireless on it, on your one. So once we find it, we're going to right click on it, then we're going to click on Properties. Then we're going to head over to driver, then we're going to update driver, and then click on search automatically for drivers. If the best drivers have already been installed, we're going to go back, then we're going to click on browse my computer for drivers, and then we're going to click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Once you do that, you want to install the second one, and then click on next, see if that works, and then if there's any more, under the second one, try out all of them. After you do all of that, we're going to right click on the wireless adapter thing again, click on properties, and then you should have power management right here. Click on power management, and then we're going to uncheck this, and then click on OK. Once you do all of this, just restart your computer and the problem should be fixed.